It is one thing to actually study a painting by Monet in a gallery on a wall and admire it and try and work out the technical uh, issues that he was looking at. But it's another thing altogether to find yourself in Venice and see what he saw, the colours that he saw, the, the magical colour of the water, which I think I wouldn't have believed until I actually saw it. It's the most amazing kind of green, a beautiful kind of green mixed with blue. Monet, he said that it was the light in Venice that was different to the light anywhere else. And of course, that is the sort of thing an artist would say, but I think there's yeah, some truth in that. Monet arrived in Venice in 1908 with his wife Alice, staying initially in a palace belonging to John Singer Sargent, and then he moved to the St Regis Hotel, the balcony of which was available to him, so he had a vista across the lagoon towards San Giorgio and back looking the other way towards the Ducal Palace. He had 10 weeks to produce the paintings that he did. Some were just sketches that he never improved, others were slightly more finished. To be in his footsteps is not quite right, but to see, to see the things that he saw and to be in those places was utterly different to actually going to the Tate Gallery and looking at Monet's in Venice. It changed my relationship to the paintings. I was trying to revisit um, something that I'd actually experienced physically at first hand in a boat looking at a palace. stand at the jetty on San Giorgio Maggiore looking across the Grand Canal to, to the city itself was astonishing. Beautiful sky, beautiful colours and it's one of those times when you feel all is right with the world and um, you know it's going to be summer forever. This trip was the very last trip that Monet ever undertook out of France. It is and was for me one of the most exceptional painting expeditions I've ever undertaken. It was hard to say goodbye but all good things come to an end.